Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a law and a regulation? Who has authority to implement a law? What are the parameters of executive orders? Or why any of this is important to public health? Laws play a foundational role in shaping health outcomes, but it is important to understand that laws can take many forms. This video will introduce the types of laws that different branches of government can create, enact, and enforce, knowledge that is fundamental to public health practice. The first two types of laws we'll talk about are legislation and regulations. This slide shows a helpful chart that breaks down the key similarities and differences between the two. Although this chart uses federal legislation and regulations as an example, state structures and processes generally mirror these. What I want to highlight here is that on both federal and state levels, legislation and regulation have the effect of law. However, as we'll discuss in the next few slides, Legislation and regulations are different in many ways, from who drafts the law to how it is finalized. For example, at the federal level, legislation is introduced by members of Congress. Any senator or congressperson can introduce legislation. At the state level, state legislatures enact legislation. Often, legislation requires federal or state agencies to draft regulations. Regulations fill in the details of the legislation. For example, specifying how enforcement will work or clearing up ambiguities. Once legislation is introduced, only Congress can make alterations. For regulations, the public can weigh in on changes by submitting comments, which the agency must consider and respond to. One similarity between legislation and regulations at the federal level is that both can be stopped by Congress. A piece of legislation may be stopped if it stalls in the committee phase, or if it fails to pass by vote, and a proposed regulation may be halted or revised if Congress disapproves or, sometimes, in response to feedback received during the public comment period. A final distinction is that a piece of federal legislation becomes a law when it is passed by Congress and the President signs it into law. Many states have similar processes, with the governor as the person whose signature finalizes state-level legislation. A regulation, on the other hand, becomes law when it is published in the Federal Register after review and consideration of public comments. In addition to legislation and regulations, there is another type of law. The head of the executive branch, the president at the federal level or governor at the state level, can issue executive orders, which have the full force of law. Executive orders can be controversial because, unlike other major policy decisions, they do not require the legislature's approval. Therefore, they can be seen as operating outside the system of checks and balances. However, like legislation and regulations, executive orders can be struck down by a court. Judicial decisions also carry the force of law, and sometimes it is up to courts to figure out exactly what a law means. Once they do so, their interpretation can be binding for others. These judicial decisions are called case law. For example, Imagine a state where it is illegal to use a cell phone while driving. Now imagine that someone driving in that state gets a ticket for texting while stopped at a stoplight. The driver challenges the ticket in court and argues that he wasn't actually driving at the time. He was waiting at a stoplight and therefore did not violate the law. A court needs to interpret the law and determine whether sitting at a stoplight is still considered driving. If the violation is upheld, other drivers in that community would then be held to that standard. A final type of law is administrative law decisions. This body of law is created by the government's administrative agencies. So at the federal level, these entities would include the federal executive departments and the independent federal agencies. For example, the Consumer Product Safety Commission is an independent federal agency that oversees the safety of products sold in the United States. If there were a dispute related to product safety, the commission would typically have an initial hearing with an administrative law judge, who presides over hearings much like federal judges do in district court. The parties to the dispute would then have opportunities to appeal the judge's decision in a federal court. The rules for these proceedings are established in the Federal Administrative Procedures Act, or APA. Many states have adopted statutes similar to the federal APA. Like the APA, These state statutes outline the rules for how agencies operate, how they promulgate rules, and how they conduct hearings and appeals. 
Administrative law judges also play a central role in local government and are often responsible for resolving licensing disputes, for example, between a business and the regulatory agency that governs that particular industry or field. If you're interested in learning more, we encourage you to check out our free training called Structure of Government, Exploring the Fabric and Framework of Public Health Powers. This training is part of the Public Health Law Academy, which is supported by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. Our free and easy-to-use trainings provide a deeper understanding of the use of law and policy to improve population health outcomes. Developed in cooperation with Change Lab Solutions, the online trainings offered by the Public Health Law Academy are essential for all public health professionals. To learn more, visit www.publichealthlawacademy.org. The views expressed in this video, including written training materials or publications, do not necessarily reflect the official policies of CDC or the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, nor does the mention of trade names, commercial practices, or organizations imply endorsement by the U.S. government. Like all materials associated with the Public Health Law Academy, this video provides legal information but not legal advice, and no attorney-client relationship is created. Please contact an attorney in your state if you need legal advice. Furthermore, the information provided in this video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute legal advice. Change Lab Solutions does not enter into attorney-client relationships. And while every effort has been made to verify the accuracy of these materials, legal authorities and requirements may vary from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. The contents of this presentation have not been formally disseminated by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and should not be construed to represent any agency determination or policy. Always seek the advice of an attorney or other qualified professional on any questions you may have about a legal matter.